What I love about the cover look is it feels sexy and young and fun while having sort of a, a buttoned up edge. Wow, the makeup is gorgeous. I love the wash of shimmer over the eyes and just that soft melon color on the lips. Yeah, the hair is great. It's just that soft texture creating effortless beauty. I think it's gonna be great to show people how easy they can do this at home. Gorgeous. If there's one thing I want you to know, it's that the side part really puts the stamp on this look. I'm gonna use a tail comb going over the middle of the eyebrow to get the side part. Once you have the part down, I want you to use a little product to really define the part. You can use a volumizer, spritzing it at the part, and then with the blow dryer, setting it in place. Now we're gonna use the volumizer from the mids through the ends. Just go through and spritz it down. Once you've done that, go in with a round brush and blow dryer. I always tell clients to use a two inch round brush. This is really gonna give you that bend and texture in the hair. Slide the brush down the shaft of the hair, and roll it into place, and then unravel. Then you can go in, wrap it up, and set the pin curl. Now I'm using these clips to set the hair in place, which you can get at any local drugstore or beauty shop. At the end, when you've got the curls in place, just go through, mist your hairspray, so that it allows it to give it a little hold. So I'm gonna start with your foundation. And the key with this is starting in the center of the face where you need it the most. Right around the temples and under the eyes and over the bridge of the nose to really create that dimension. For Carrie's look, it was all about flawless skin and a great way to achieve that is through highlighting. The key areas are around the outside of the temples, the bow of the lip, and under the brow bone. We're gonna do your eyes. I'm gonna start with the lightest one, and that's gonna be your base shadow. You really only wanna go one to two shades lighter than your normal skin complexion. It's important with this, because it's so shimmery, that you go very light with it. To create a really beautiful wash of shimmer on the lid, I'm mixing the two in the middle here, the pinkier one and the peachier one, to create like an opalescent shadow. This smaller brush adds more pigment and makes it look a little bit more impactful. And I'm just blending it from the outside corner going in, in circular motions. So our next step is mascara. You really wanna wiggle this mascara at the base of the lashes and work it up. For Carrie's lips, they used a lip stain and then a sheen on top. The lip stain allows the product to last and the sheen just looks nice and beautiful on top. A lip brush is perfect for defining the lips. I'm just gonna tap the rouge on top of the lip stain, focus on the center and then kind of spread it out. By tapping the sheen on, it gives the illusion of a fuller lip, just like Carrie's. No L cover look can be complete without finishing powder. It leaves the skin looking matte and flawless. This way, she's ready for the camera or you're ready for real life. Let's just pull this out and let everything fall into place. I'm gonna use a wide tooth comb and I'm just gonna kind of brush through the hair creating that softness and feel that we had on the magazine. Now the final step in creating this side swept bang without losing the length is just by continuing to work the hair forward and brush it into place. And there's the L cover look in a few easy steps.